The following is a presentation of Muddy River News. Instant Replay is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. Hey everybody, welcome to The Daily Muddy. I'm Ashley Conrad and joining me today is Mr. Bruce Guthrie. And Bruce, you are the CEO of the Quincy Area Chamber of Commerce, correct? Yes. Okay, that is kind of a mouthful. It is, it, it is. is, but thank you, you did very well. Thank you. Um, and with that title comes a lot of responsibility and I know uh, the Quincy Area Chamber always has so much going on, um, but this weekend happens to be one of my favorite events that you guys uh, are, are spearheading and that is Dogwood. Um, dogwood, if you are born and raised in Quincy, or even if you're a transplant, um, it's something that kind of kicks off summer, and it starts with um, a great parade that, you know, a lot of parades have come and gone. This one seems to be a mainstay, and I know it takes a lot of effort, but, um, and not just on the part of you, but just the community as a whole. Uh, can you give us a little background on where the dogwood started what kind of created that the idea of it well i think it started it started when way back when the city i think it's early 1900s adopted the 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 dogwood as its uh, city tree okay i think it started there and then then i give a lot of credit to mary lou kent who kind of brought it forward to the chamber and wanted to make it a, a dogwood weekend a dogwood festival and so she started she started the parade in 1969 wow so this is our i wrote a note down here because my memory as i get older is you and shorter. me both you and me both it's it's 54th year wow. this year uh, of the dogwood parade so okay. i give a lot of a lot of credit to mary lou kent and that group that brought it on so the chamber took it on and then Throughout many years, it was a Dogwood Festival right. weekend, which was great. They yeah. did a lot of block parties. They had a lot of events. They had they had events that ended up in Washington Park. They mm -hmm. had a carnival. They had all this. Well, the festival really went away. It, it, right. it the chamber the chamber uh, of commerce. What our role is is put on the parade. Right. It's okay. a big undertaking. Huge. It's one of our main uh, events that we do for the community. But it's huge. We have a hundred and 18 entries this year and so oh, wow. it's, a, it's a lot of organization do a lot of oh, volunteers yeah so we can take that on and now there's really there's not anything now in washington uh, when washington park i think on this saturday actually i can say the quincy farmers market the farmers the market puts on it starts out there yeah, yeah now yeah, in the yeah. past there was a carnival there for a few years lincoln in the district we did this this event with the which was a lincoln folks to to, to talk about lincoln and the back in those days and what okay. that meant to the community but they've kind of went away because it's been COVID and then getting volunteers to put yeah. these things on. To yeah. put these events on take a lot of people. It does, and if I remember, so I have a, a lot of fond memories of um, even the carnival, like the heart mm -hmm. flip ride is one of the, one thing that sticks out in my head. But it would be, we would I would walk in the parade with either Scotty's or the dance um, company that I was dancing with, and then we would meet everybody down at the park, and then we would stay for corn dogs and rides. And uh, it was a good time, but if I remember right, it kind of started to peter out a little bit because I'm sure one, you know, a multitude of reasons but as you said it does take a lot of effort a lot of volunteer um time and probably money and how do you you know how do you pull that off when everybody's just so i hate the word but busy no you're yeah. exactly right ashley and so it's so funny you mention that because i get people come here all the time and they go oh i remember i did this or i yeah. went to this weekend thing or i went to the park exactly what you said and i love that yeah um the carnival just kind of petered out it was j it just it was ran not real well early in and then we were we were leaving with a lot of trash issues and that sort of thing because that's a big thing that's right. a big thing sure like this parade we have about 25 people that will be cleaning up afterwards i want it cleaner than what it, what we started absolutely that's our you know roles when we do this that's our responsibility including you, the pooper scooper which is well, like somebody some, is like my we idol have some horses, <laughs> we have some horses coming in yeah. we have some horses coming in so awesome. you're exactly right yeah. I, I i i'm amazed what people have come up to me and they go they think of memories and they think about oh i went i started coming in 1974 or whatever and that is great to hear and that is wonderful for us we're trying to show off our community this parade is the kind of the first event after a long, you know long winter yes we all go through and yeah uh, uh everybody gets out and about and it, it's just a great community event for the tri-state area and you see so many people that you know because of course quincy is such a a, a big small town small big town however you want to look at it but uh yeah it's 
it's a really good time and you see everybody that you know you see some people you haven't seen in a long time either walking in the parade or standing next to you and watching the kids get the candy and <laughs> uh yeah seeing all of the you know small businesses represented in the parade um yeah as well as community mainstays and i just think it's awesome i think it, it, it really is because we have such a variety and I, I also want to mention it, it, the support of, um, it's presented by Blessing Health Systems, as we all know, to get anything done in this community on a volunteer or on a nonprofit basis, or mm -hmm. need, we need support. Right. And the uh, Blessing has been great with us. Excellent. And they, and then, uh, you know, we have some other smaller investors, uh, but they are, they are so good. And our, far forget, our theme for this year. Yeah, I was going to ask about is that. Is a gym, gymboree. Okay. Uh, celebrating the exceptional exceptional in all of us all right <laughs> excellent me. i have to give you know gosh i shouldn't say this kyle moore our <laughs> ex-mayor yeah and head of greta he stopped by my office we were trying to think of a theme and and we work with blessing and he goes what about a jimbery jokingly and we said that's not bad perfect gosh i'm gonna he hears I you're like credit. dang it dang it but i had dang to, it I had don't to, let your head get too big all right kyle but, but, no but, yeah but that's right. good stuff it, it, the parade is full of also we're gonna have fire trucks we're gonna have a few bands we're trying so hard to get more bands okay the, in the community but the problem one of my is, favorite parts the problem is is a lot of these smaller schools it's the end of school year it's hard to get them to do it yeah culver stockton we're trying they were gonna do it but they ran into some issues but we're working on it. we want more bands we want more things to come up we want yeah. more people to do floats yes we really encourage people to do floats okay um you know i'd like to do more things you know one thing real quick um i am um, uh, I got my son lives out in Washington D.C. and I got friends out there too, and they have the cherry blossoms out there. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a yeah. big thing. Uh -huh. And they have parade stuff, but the one of the things they do is they sent me photos, and they do like where they have a parade. Maybe that whole street, the houses will decorate decorate into, in the cherry. Oh wow! What cool. about that for dogwood, Ashley? Oh, I mean, that'd be so cool. Because all along that main street is is people are doing get-togethers. Yeah. So next year we're going to do that. We're going to okay. do a decorating type yeah uh, some kind of a contest some kind of yes. a theme yeah I, yes. and that's one of the things we do now so even if my girls are walking in it uh we do go to one of the house parties and maine is of course one of the most beautiful streets in quincy uh so what better place and i know so many people along main street would get into that decorating that is a really good idea i know i love well, it i love it i give my wife credit because she saw that and that then so uh, some friends out there said it's so cool they showed me some pictures of these houses and porches all with the cherry blossoms oh, yeah which are gorgeous out there yeah and it could uh, even be whatever you know something that goes with the theme exactly. of whatever parade that exactly. is so cool i love that idea yeah. i love a theme party anyway so yeah, yeah. um and then as far as uh so if somebody wants to be in the parade is it too late it's too late we, is it we okay. are we had we You're closed it down out. we're maxed out and plus okay. we closed down we we also i don't want to forget this we coordinate this with wgem who does okay. it televised yes so you have to people don't realize we 118 uh flow floats yeah. and 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 entries we do it on a big spreadsheet we ask people for the history so when the announcers are on there talking sure. about the parade, they want to talk about what it is Get some so info. if yeah. you can imagine the challenge to get oh, 118 yeah. different people to yeah. be sure, please fill out this you're orders. right yeah and uh but no we're we're closed out for this year um so look for us for next year okay to sign up people start signing up so early it's yeah. amazing it's i just bet amazing. that's awesome yeah okay so one of my favorites i just want to mention this and then i want to uh -huh. ask one of yours so one of my favorites of course is like the is it the shriners yes okay are they in it this i'm pretty year? sure they are okay good and then the um i think it's the german fest or Oktoberfest band On the, the band yes 118 entries i'm trying to remember i because they're I won't great hold aren't you they? to it but i think those two I are think, definitely aren't they great they are they just bring so much fun well, we got fire, both the tri was that tri county fire department i always get that wrong tri county fire and then down to you know the quincy fire department okay in there. excellent you know. and then of course the bands like you said and uh yeah even if it's just i've gotten a few people that told me that they they are really doing some floats because yeah. we want more floats yeah we're gonna, and before i forget you know we give out awards Yes. I don't know if you know that. I, I do. Yeah. And actually, you know, when I was young, yeah. um, my aunt did, uh, She and this is back when they would take like crepe paper and stick it in like the chicken wire and <laughs> yeah. make like the, I remember doing that at homecoming. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And it's so much work, but they do deserve awards. And I do believe she won um, one of the top is awards. Really? So, yeah. So well, I'll tell you what the three cool. awards yeah, are. Cause I had that, this question this morning. The mayor's award, which is given to a float that's 10 foot in length or, or shorter in, in, with the theme. Okay. 
We do the governor's award. The governor's award goes to a float that's larger than 10 foot and with the theme. Okay. And then our final award is, is in honor of Mary Lou Kent. Is, um, it's named after her. And it's uh, a float that does, is the best use of the parade theme, you know, okay. overall. So we do three awards. And they, get a, they get a cash award, a small cash award, and give to a charitable organization. All right. And uh, um, it's, you know, I, I'm, I'm always working on, we're working on ideas. How do we get, you know, how do we get more bands? How do we get, I've been trying to get the Clydesdales oh, to come cool. in. We're working yeah. on that. That's a little bit down We do the road. have horses though that come in. There's horses, yeah. we do, they're confirmed. Yeah. Horses, are, so horses are coming yeah. in. And I've, I'm, I'm, my brain lock here, there's a few new ones that are coming in. Like I said, we have 118 entries. Yeah, that's awesome. Stri when we set up for this thing, if you wouldn't, we're gonna do this Friday. And I don't think you realize how we do this. And I learned a big lesson is that when you when you do your application for this, we need to know what some people are coming in with a car, a little smaller, sure. just a few people. Some people are coming in with trailers and all that. Yeah. So when you're lining up, you can't everybody can't get the same spot. They need larger spots or smaller sure, spots. Sure, sure. So Saturday with a bunch of volunteers, we'll do 116, 118 a stakes lineup. down the lineup. Yeah. And you'll you'll rotate it on each side of the street so we don't and then some might we got a little the little measuring tape uh, yeah. thing and it's it's kind of scientific. It's an ordeal. But it does, it works. It works. And yeah. you guys have done such a great job. Uh and my, yeah. I want to give my credit to my staff. Um, yeah. Kenyatta McFall, who's our, our event manager, she put, she really is the one behind this. Yeah. And then Stacy Bowl and Bethany Wingerter, they they're the ones that do all the work for this, and I, I'm a very, I'm very appreciative of that. Yeah, well, thank you all. Because a lot of people don't realize, I, my past life, I did a lot of events, and there's a, so much work. Oh, I know. Goes behind the scenes. Yes, I know event planning, and I can only imagine yeah, uh, dealing so. with 118 different parties, and then trying yes. to please all everyone in the community oh. while not ticking off downtown businesses <laughs> and keeping things kind of yeah. kosher, you know. And yeah, I can only imagine how much work well, it is. Well, you have but, to work with the, you have to work with the city on yeah. all of, getting everything lined up. You have to work with the EMS. You got to work oh, with yeah. John Simon out at the uh, uh, the Adam County Emergency uh, Organization, yeah. and you have to work with uh, uh, the city auxiliary police. You got you're shutting off intersections and everything. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. So real quick before we wrap it up, parade starts nine nine thirty. Nine. You could say nine thirty. Nine thirty. Kicks off around nine twenty nine thirty. But I would say get your spot early because yes. once that street is blocked off, as many of us know, it is kind of hard to get around. Yes, it and is. you'll want to get a spot early because those good spots they go quick and. Yeah. And they they will have chairs out. I live near that uh, Main Street. Yeah. Chairs will be going out the night before. Oh, I bet. Yep. I bet. Uh, and one of the parties that I'm going to is going to have uh, mimosas and Bloody Marys. Whoa. I won't disclose that location, but I do want to mention party, yeah. I know, uh, the Lorenzo Bowl uh, parade yes. party because I spoke to him. I know. I think that's going to be so much fun. Well, they're they're going to so have food they vendors. Do so much more, they want to do so much more. Yeah. That's the type of things we want to do yeah. along Main Street. I love Street, it. Yeah. I love it. So I'm excited to see how it continues to grow. In the meantime, I'm just glad it's still here because it is a mainstay that uh, I have very fond memories of, and I appreciate Great. all the work that goes into it, and I look forward to it. For, for many years well, actually, to come. Thank you for having me on. Absolutely. I really appreciate Muddy Rivers for inviting yeah, me. Absolutely. I appreciate you coming out. Thank so nice you. to meet you. Thank you. All right. Coming up next, I'll sit down with Meg Duncan from Hannibal. Listen up, Quincy. The Dogwood Festival is back and reimagined at Lorenzo Bowl Park. Come watch the parade. We've got the best seats in town. Then stay all day and enjoy this brand new festival. Lorenzo Bowl Park will have food trucks, bands, children's activities, house tours, and more. It's free and open to the public. May 6th from 830 to 330 at 16th and Main in Lorenzo Bowl Park, home of the Women's City Club. For more information, go online to Friends of the Lorenzo Bowl House. Org. Welcome to the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. With six big screens, a new larger kitchen, and now more seating capacity, the Abbey is the place to be before, during, and after the big game. Come enjoy fan favorite Abbey Tizers, steaks, burgers, and a variety of daily food and drink specials. Can't join us? Carryout is available too. Now with a convenient drive up window to better serve you. 1736 Spring in Quincy. Opens at 3 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday. Come join all your friends at the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. Quincy Warehouse Bargains is your Quincy home improvement store. It's the only store of its kind in the Quincy area. We offer flooring, mattresses, area rugs, dining sets, couches, appliances, and much more. And have more products to come so we can better serve the Quincy and Tri-State community. Our staff is ready to help you find what you need to make your house a home. Quincy Warehouse Bargains, 4100 North 24th Street, Quincy. Are you looking for the perfect venue for your next special event? Check out Utopia Event Center. Utopia has a large banquet room and an awesome bar area, 
perfect for anything from birthday parties to formal corporate meetings. It also offers a photo booth, stage for a DJ or a live band, and a fully stocked bar, all for only $300. Check us out at utopiaeventcenter.com or call Barn at 217-430-6559 for more information. Utopia Event Center, 900 North 12th Street in Quincy. A great night's sleep starts at Harvey's Furniture. Check out the large selection of complete bedroom sets. And when it comes to mattresses, we have a full selection from Bemco, Spring Air, and Chatham and Wells. Harvey's Furniture, our home, your home. And welcome back. Joining me now, Meg Duncan. How's it going, Meg? Good. How Good. are you? Fantastic. I hear good. congratulations are in order on multiple fronts for you. Yeah. Right? Yes, it's a good day. Yes, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, let's start with number one. So um, you found, potentially found, a new home in Hannibal as far as like your office. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So what I'm going to say is that I am resigning. Okay. But not from Muddy River. I'm resigning from being a coffee shop hopper. Coffee shop hopper. I do love that title though. I know, but I will put it prominently in our new do office. It. Okay, all right. Yes, um, so we did. We are going to be um, on 3rd Street. Okay. It's an upstairs apartment and it's um, it's in with the Sally Pool communication okay. uh, kind of complex, yeah. I would say. Uh, I can't remember the exact address. I should that's have okay. that up. No, that's all right. As long as you know where you're going and yeah. you can tell me how to get there, then yeah, that's we're right. good. It is central. It's such a great yeah. location. I can walk so many places. Oh, that's cool. And I'll put a coffee pot in there. There you go. <laughs> so I I'm sure the coffee shops are going to miss you. So you're going to have to still stop by every once <laughs> yeah, in a while. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to like maybe take them little gifts or something yeah, and probably. be like, thank you, thank you for everything. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. So I can't wait to see it, first I'm of excited. all. And then it gives us a place to land when we come for uh, all of the goings on. Exactly. In yeah, yeah. It's it's just going to be such a great thing to have a place to just collectively yeah, call uh, home. Yeah, sure. exactly. I've kind of lived out of my bag now for two years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I can imagine this is going to be quite the change. Yes. It will be very nice. And yeah. especially with that location, that's mm -hmm. that's super cool. So yeah. congratulations on that. Thank you. Um, two, and of course, this, you know, the location is important, but maybe not as important as your next congratulations. Oh, so we've talked about, um, the book before, mm -hmm. right? Go into yes. a little bit of detail for those who okay. may not know. So um, I'm one of the contributing authors to So God Made a Mother, and it's a compilation um, by Leslie Means, which is the founder of the um, website, Her View From Home. Okay. Um, Her View From Home has about 2 million followers. Um, and basically, Leslie and um, and her editing team, they compile essays and things like that from women around the world. Yeah, and they um, are related to motherhood and just to to life. Yeah, you real know? life stuff as a mom. Real life yeah. stuff, and that's that's the whole thing is it's all real life stuff. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, this book, I am um, a contributing author, and there's 80 authors. 80 authors. Mm -hmm. And um, you contribute, of course, some witty, charming, genuine stuff, which is <laughs> awesome. So if you haven't read it, make sure you do. But yeah. um, even if you haven't read it, so many other people have because yeah. it just hit... Yes, it hit number seven on the Wall Street Journal best-selling list. So, yay, I'm so excited. How Thank cool you. is that? Thank you. It's also um, one of the top sellers. I can't remember the exact number, but on Amazon. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so it's just they've already called for a second printing of it, which is wow, huge. And it huge. just released um, in April. Yeah. So well, congratulations thank to you. you and every other contributing author and Leslie Means. Uh, not only is it awesome that it's a compilation of so many different mothers and types of mothers mm -hmm. and parenting and real life stuff, uh, but, yeah, now you're, like, getting read and getting noticed and that's just so it's cool so exciting yeah it is so exciting is and so i cool. love this group of women like yeah. they i i can i can personally vouch that all of their stories are just completely genuine 
and it's just their life stories. Yeah. Like I've, I, their personal, so many of them are personal friends. And then we had that banquet in Nebraska, yeah. which was um, an absolute blast where the ones, the authors I didn't know I got to meet right. and it That's was special. huge celebration. Yeah. So it was so fun. Very special. Yeah. Yes. That is so cool. Uh, probably not something you really ever saw coming. Not really. Yeah, no, uh -uh, not at all. What a cool surprise Thanks. and a, a, just an awesome testament to uh, how awesome your writing oh. is. Well, and thank you. how genuine you are and thank I love you. it so congratulations well thank you so much you are so welcome <laughs> uh so a lot of good stuff happening you also there's also some good stuff happening in Hannibal yeah coming up right yes so one of the biggest things mm -hmm. this month um everybody can prepare it's uh May 27th through 28th so that weekend um we are are going to be having Twain on Main. Twain on Main. It's really been, um, it's it's one of the, the newer festivals, but it is hugely it's popular. Big. Yeah. And it's, it's fun. Yeah. That's why it's popular. Yeah. It is fun. Because there's so much stuff going on yeah. all day, every day, mm -hmm. and so yeah. many people you know, you know, you don't know. Normally the weather is really nice. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's a really cool people watching. Oh, um, yeah. There's always like cool events. There's, mm -hmm. um, live music right yeah they're yeah. street performers yeah they're, i mean you'll just walk down the street and find someone playing their piano yeah. or dancers or yeah. whatever and they even have like they break out into like a um like a bank robbery and kids get I've to help seen that. it's so that cute is so fun yeah kids yeah. get to help like track down the robber and then put him in jail and they yeah. love it they just love it so and then who puts that on is at the chamber um, no, I believe, and don't quote me, I, I think it's the Historic, um, this is historic Society of Hannibal or I, something like I that? I think so. Okay. I think, okay. but I, I might be wrong. No, that's all right. We'll look it up. <laughs> I was just curious. I was just yeah. asking, um, because it is, it's big and it's fun and it's mm -hmm. something to do and mm -hmm. yeah 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 so kids can awesome. learn how to like lasso yeah and they had i know last year that's my lasso i was gonna say i thought you were a farm girl meg this is this is a lasso i feel like she's that's the most she's backwards rolling tape. lasso yeah she's ever. rolling tape yeah that's right it's opposite that's so funny that is awesome so yeah but um uh, yeah i would say everybody should put it on their schedules yeah. and i'll be doing like some more in-depth on that on the schedule and agenda and what to expect mm -hmm, and there's probably a facebook page if anybody's in a hurry to go check it out and yes but absolutely there there is and um there's also i believe a website um to start out to go to the visit hannibal page okay and then you can find mm -hmm. me you or, can find yeah, it there and then you can main. find all the connections there okay. so excellent so um yeah lots of good stuff i hope yeah. good stuff continues to uh find you thank you yeah i love sitting down and chatting with you you and too i always love it i can't wait to see your new digs oh i'm so excited yeah. i just can't wait maybe so. we'll have to do a guest uh or like a, a field trip down there to do the next one that would be amazing or when you get settled in we yeah. won't rush you but yeah. all right meg well it was so nice chatting with you, you too. until next time all right all right great day. that does it for today's daily muddy we'll catch you back here tomorrow for club muddy muddy river news our home our news